Hey, it's Jeff, and I had an interesting question or comment come in on the blog. And it's a bit long, but there's a lot here. It's, it's really interesting. So it's from Nana, and Nana said, Jeff, obviously your program works, or many people, or so many people wouldn't be praising it. You come across as someone who's trustworthy, which is awesome. <laughs> your own launch successfully shows how strong this marketing is. However, too often, I have people who are selling programs, products, courses, who appear to be using your methods, but somehow all I get when I open up seems like thousands of emails from them that is just a push for sales. I've reached a point where I've unsubscribed from many of them or while they are in sales mode, launch mode, that I just drop their emails in the trash without opening them. Yours and a few others I open because besides the sales promotion, I know I'm going to receive information that's beneficial to me. I know that's selfish, but it's the truth on my end. I'd love to know what it is in your sales promotions that makes the difference. That's the aspect of the launch that I've never heard you speak about. And it's an aspect that I found in only three other marketers that I can think of. The difference is so striking that it's memorable. Is this something taught or learned or is just intuitive to, to how you market? Whatever it is, it's what makes the difference between a so-so launch and a raving successful launch. Am I missing something? So first of all, well, it, it's an int very interesting. So first of all, you're not being selfish if you unsubscribe from someone where you're not getting value. Uh, or if they're, yeah, just leave it that simple. If you unsubscribe or don't open emails from someone because you're not getting value, that's normal. I mean, that's how we, we all have choices to make as we move through our lives. And we all get a lot of email and a lot of marketing messages, and you just have to tune in what, to what works for you and what doesn't. Now, as far as if I'm different or if there's some intuitive thing, I do know there's a lot of people that probably are following, think they're following product launch formula, you know, my launch techniques, that maybe they're not PLF owners. Maybe they're just watching and sort of trying to de deconstruct it or missing the piece that you have to deliver value throughout your pre-launch sequence throughout your pre-launch content and that's that's a core piece of it i mean there's a real formula to how do you deliver value but frankly you don't want to deliver too much value you want to le keep some value back for when people buy from you i mean that's just part of it i want to deliver a complete launch education through my free training but i also want it to lead into my full-out course and if you know i mean my free training which I just, you know, I just did this launch. My free training is, I don't know, it's probably about two hours of training. But if you get into the course, there's another 20 hours of training. You can only do so much in your free training. And I think, so I think, I think I am, pat myself on the back, I think I am pretty good at this at delivering value. In addition, I try to de deliver value 52 weeks a year. I do one of these videos every single week. I do a podcast consistently, sort of consistently, pretty much every week. And so, I try to deliver value on an ongoing basis. So even when I do go into sales mode, I've built up that relationship capital. And that's something you want to think about as well. And then the other thing too, beyond the patting myself on the back, I just have a, a unique voice that I deliver my content in. And all the best publishers or thought leaders or entrepreneurs or whatever you want to call it, all the best ones have a, have a real voice to, to what they're publishing. And everyone's voice is a little different. So Nana, the person who put this comment in, I think one of the reasons that you just might resonate with the way I present myself and my voice. And there's some people that do, and there's a lot of people that don't. But it's really important that when you're publishing, and I think all of us really need to be publishers now in whatever business we're in, that's the reality. We all need to be publishers. And I think when you're publishing, you have to have a distinctive voice and you will attract some people and you'll repel some people. Trust me, there's all kinds of people that they don't want anything to do with me or with what I'm publishing. They just, they, I don't connect with them. They don't like my voice. It's, and when I say voice, I don't mean speaking voice. I mean, in the way you present yourself and the words you use and what you talk about and how you talk about it. I, have a, I think I've got a very, very distinctive voice. It works for some people, it doesn't work for others. And if you publish in your own unique voice, it'll be the same. And you don't need to resonate with anyone. And if you try everyone, and if you try to resonate with everyone, then it's not going to work. So yeah, deliver value. In your launch, deliver value. 
You absolutely need to to stand out from the crowd. In your ongoing publishing deliver value, those are two key things. And then the third one is to make sure that you, you're not speaking in corporate speak. You're not speaking in airline speak. You're, you're using your own you know, special sauce, so to speak, which is you and how you present yourself to the world. Find the people that you resonate with. And uh, you know, the, for the people you don't resonate with, fine. They'll, they'll just move on. They'll find someone else. That's what's so great about this business and this world is that we can all find our own tribe. We can all find our own tribe. And you don't need a huge tribe. You just need a thousand or two thousand or three thousand people or whatever. Ten it could be ten or twenty thousand, whatever, but you don't need a huge tribe. You just need people that really connect with you and resonate with you and that do open your emails and do listen to your podcasts and watch your videos. So I'm Jeff Walker. Wherever you're watching this, scroll down, leave a comment for me, tell me what you think, and let's go get them this week.